All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the C Audio Yume Midnight, which is a collaboration project between C Audio and Critical. So I'm not here to give you some like unboxing that you've seen a thousand times. I'm not gonna sit here and do that. It's gonna be, you know, what's gonna come in the box for IEMs. It's gonna come with the IEMs, a cable, some ear tips. You don't need to see me go through all that. So we're just gonna get straight into the meat and potatoes here of these IEMs. So let's go ahead and see. So that's the box. Obviously we get the wife on there. You know, they know what time it is. So they're bringing it. So this is what's in the box. So you're gonna get this dope little carrying case. It's actually plastic. It almost feels like metal or aluminum, but it, I don't know, kind of has a plasticky feel to it. It's kind of dope. It's got the bunny ears on there. So pretty clean. It's just a matte black thing. So let me pop this guy open here. And then you've got your IEMs inside. So let's go ahead and pull these bad boys out. All right, there we are. All right, so basically like that's really what you're getting in the box, right? So it's just gonna be the, the carrying tin here. You're gonna get five sets of silicone ear tips, not these, these are my SpinFit CP100s. If you're interested in those, I'll leave a link in the description. But aside from that, you get the IEMs, five different sets of ear tips. You get the uh, silver plated copper cable here that's included. It's actually a pretty decent cable. It's not bad. I've had better, but this is not the worst at all. Um, and then once again, you're gonna get a standard two pin uh, 0.078 connector on these guys. So they do have detachable cables, obviously, for these IEMs. And then if you look at them closely, these actually have sort of this like faux carbon fiber weave on them. Um, it's kind of trick. I actually, you know, you see the branding on here with the midnight and, and the Sea Audio logo but I would have preferred if they would just left it kind of clean with that carbon fiber um, weave on there. I think that would have looked a little bit better, but maybe, you know, maybe I'm just nitpicking that my, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my style preference. So, but style wise, these are a classic IEM look, as you can see right here, just, you know, just your standard stuff, nothing super crazy, nothing uh, weird or different on the design. Um, like I said, the logo and the midnight could have been a little bit smaller or maybe ghosted in. That would have been kind of dope. Uh, more subtle branding has always been my preference. Um, and then when it comes to comfort, for my ears, I have large ears. So for my ears, these are actually quite comfortable. There's no issues with any sort of ear fatigue or anything of that nature when it comes to wearing comfort. I could even lay down and sleep with these if I really wanted to. Not going to do that, but if I really wanted to, I can totally do that. So there's that option. So let's get into the sound quality of the C Audio Yume Midnight. So as far as testing is concerned, the testing was done with my THX Onyx DAC uh, with Apple Music Lossless. That's one option. The second option for testing I was using on my desktop, which was my IFI Zen DAC V2 with Amazon Music HD, along with some locally stored FLAC and WAV files for all of the sound testing. So let's jump into exactly what's going on with these guys. So first up, let's talk about the bass. So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna go bass, we're gonna go mids, and then we're gonna go treble. So when it comes to the bass on the C Audio You Made Midnight, it's got excellent bass response. A bit of punchiness in the mid bass as well, so it's really pleasant overall. I wouldn't call these a bass heads um, IEM, by any means, but they do bring it and it's clean. That's what we're always looking for with these. It's sort of, it gives you what you want, but not too much and not too little. It's finely balanced and I'm feeling it for real. So very, very good. Very pleasant to listen to uh, the bass test. So if you want to check out a song, like to really test these out, I'm going to take you back to the bay. So we're going to be checking out a song by my guy E40. You guys know how much I love E40 for this stuff. And he's got a song called My Shit Bang. So that's what it's called. I'm not just cursing to curse. That is what the actual song is called. So definitely want to check that out. That's by E40. And it is a real banger when it comes to those bass lines. So definitely something to check out if you want to see what that rumble does, right? Because there's some sub bass here that you're going to feel in your back. Like it's it's good stuff. And then moving over to the mid range. So in the mid range, you're going to get a natural and warm sound and it's sort of a mid to mid forward. So it's still kind of on the relaxed side, but it's not like recessed or anything of that nature. You're going to get some excellent vocal clarity here when it comes to both male and female voices. It sounds natural. It sounds like somebody's actual voice, like somebody's there. So that's one of the things that I really like about the way it sounds. There's no muddiness or anything of that nature. Um, and then when it comes to a song to test out the mid range, Range, I was really enjoying Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name. I mean, that is an excellent track for anybody who's into rock like that. Um, definitely something you want to check out and add to your playlist as soon as possible. But overall, really, really good. The guitar riffs, the bass guitar, you really got to check that out, man. 
and then moving over to the treble. So when it comes to the treble, this is where they made some changes, apparently, to the original C-Audio um, Yume. This is the minette. Obviously, this is the updated version. Um, this is where the treble got changed a bit. It is crisp. It's detailed. There's really good extension here in that treble, There's, but there's like... There's no harshness. There's no sibilance to it. So there's no point in time in any of the songs that I listened to where it felt unpleasant or like where I wanted to pull them out of my ears. That never happened. So it's like it, it gets to, to that level of detail, but it doesn't give you too much. So it remains pleasant, which is something that it's like they found that that fine balance, which I truly appreciate, but they still give you good resolution. So it, it's like to put it in terms that some people might understand, it's like if you're listening to regular earbuds or true wireless earbuds and stuff, you know, you're you're kind of watching stuff in like 720p, maybe 1080p. But with these guys, with the Seattle You May Midnight, you're getting that 4K, 6K, 8K quality uh, of that sound. So just to kind of put it in those terms. So really, really good. Now, if you want to check out a track for the treble here um, to hear the natural instrumentation, um, check out a song by Blues Delight called um, Slightly Hungover. And it's sort of that whiskey blues, like real chill type of track. But the instruments, the drums, the guitars, everything sounds so real, so natural. Like the way that instruments should sound, that's what you're going to get here with the C Audio You Made Midnight. Now, as far as soundstage, so soundstage here, you're going to get a good amount of width. I would say probably medium, like the, the sound field, basically, where it doesn't feel like they're in your ears, where the music sounds like it's a little bit further out. So I would say probably about a medium soundstage. So pretty, you know, there's some width to it. So very, very good. And then as far as instrument separation, I never heard any of the instruments crash into each other. I could cleanly pick out a person's voice, plus the strings in the background, plus the drums, and I can kind of tell where they were around the microphone when it was recorded. So it's it's legit the way that it all comes together. Now, some people are going to ask me, yo, so how about the Yume Midnight versus the um, Moondrop Kato? And the Moondrop Kato right now are my personal favorites, but I'll give you a quick breakdown between the two. Now, both of them were tested using identical setups. Both of them are using um, the same SpinFit uh, CP100 plus ear tips that I'm using right here. So just to make sure that everything was on an even playing field. And for the uh, Midnight, the Midnight has a bit more mid bass response from what I'm hearing. And the Kato had a bit more sub bass. Now they're very similar. So I really had to listen to track after track to really try to like, switching them over and over and over to really try to see where the differences were um with the midnight the midnight you're going to get more detail in the treble you're going to get more detail in the sound a bit more resolution but the kato they have a slightly wider sound stage they have a more warmer delivery it feels more rich with the moondrop kato in my opinion both of these are excellent both of them are going to make anybody who listens to them really like fall in love with these but what it's going to come down to between the two, if you're putting them against each other, is really going to come down to personal preference. Now, for me personally, I still prefer the Moondrop Kato over the C Audio You Made Midnight. If I was going to spend the 200 bucks, now mind you, while you can't go wrong with either, I would still take the Moondrop Kato over the Midnights, but it really just depends on what you need. If you want something that's going to give you a, a bit warmer, richer, fuller type of a sound, um, then I would go with the Kato's. But if you want something a little more detailed, a little more clinical, a little more balanced than the C Audio UMA Midnight, I mean, for 200 bucks, these things are going to be incredibly incredibly tough to beat. But as I said before, it all comes down to personal preference. For me, it's still going to be the Kato, but you can't go wrong with either of these. Now, if you're interested in checking these out, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description. So they're available for pre-order right now from hifigo.com. Uh, believe they're going to start shipping out right around January 15th. So all of that is available down in the description below. And if you're interested in checking out my full review of the Moondrop Kato, I'll be leaving that video right up here on the screen for you. With that said, I'm out.